Hello friends, people connected with Lou Engel Ministries, people that have run with us for so many years. We are in, obviously, one of the great crisis moments in history. But I'm, ex I'm excited because I feel like God has given uh, the ministry uh, a message for this very moment and an assignment in prayer that I believe is actually shifting history. Look back this year, and uh, we launched uh, the Send in Brazil. It, it was born out of the root of the call, and uh, three stadiums, 150,000 believers on one day in Brazil, historic, hurling forth laborers into the harvest field, and then COVID hits. What an incredible, incredible moment. But we believe that God had actually prepared us for that moment, for we had called a worldwide 40-day fast. It's been my dream since 1997 that, that God would give me a moment in time when I'd call the globe to a 40-day fast with a view that Jesus' ministry, Luke 4.18, signs and wonders, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus the evangelist would arise and I believe that's taking place right now. I believe that 40-day fast was critical to a worldwide release that is even now going to bear more fruit in uh, 2021. Um, we wrote that book, um, The Fast, and you can get it from uh, Louis Ministries. Moment. I'll never forget, we pulled up for 40 days with my friend fasting on water God gave us words concerning Pentecost, a Passover to Pentecost. God began to speak to us concerning the great communion revival. So we held communion, communion, thousands watched that communion, and then we led a season of prayer online, daring to believe that we're in the days of that outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which in many ways has just launched a movement where I called it TURN, the Upper Room Network. We're calling for men and women to start Upper Room prayer uh, uh, networks, prayer rooms, all across the nation, thousands, where we're dropping animosity, dropping debate, we're dropping all of our anger and hatred and, and all that conversation for one thing, to be in the upper room, one, one place, one accord, believing for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We need Pentecost. We just launched it this week, and hundreds are already beginning to mobilize weekly, maybe daily prayer meetings. God, send the Holy Spirit. Now we've come to this moment where uh, an Esther explosion has taken place. We've uh, ignited a movement. It's called Women's Well. It's been going for years, and we, we, didn't, we didn't start it, but we, we feel like a, a seed has been sown. And for 30 days, Esthers are rising up all across America, doing 30 minutes for 30 days, praying that this Haman spirit over the Supreme Court would be pulled down, that women would arise in America, that, that will shift the history of this nation. People like Amy Coney Barrett, who's right now being nominated. We've got women who are warring across America for that breakthrough, which brings us to this present moment. Um, for the last, uh, we, uh, we call this hinge of history fast. Right now, as I share, we're three days out from the end of that 40-day fast. Thousands have joined us, and it was all about this election and all about the coming day and crisis where the spirit of Jezebel that seduces a nation into sexual immorality, that seduces a nation in the shedding of innocent blood. We are in this battle right now, a battle that I believe is unprecedented. And we're at the end of that fast coming up in three days. My and so at the end of this fast, um, our prophetic community begin to get further assignments concerning Esther. Esther prepared herself for 30 days, and then she went before the king. This is what we feel God has called us to do, to launch 30 days. We're well into it right now, 20 days out, with an Esther fast around the nation for the final three days in Washington, D.C. Hey, we want to call people to stand in front of the Supreme Court for three days before the election, the 31st, 
1st and 2nd of November or the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd election day in Washington, D.C. Daring to believe as we stand before the throne, Esther will actually overrule the Haman court and God will raise up pro-life judges. We are in a day that possibly we could see the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Lou Engle Ministries is actually fueling that prayer movement with friends like Matt Lockett, Bound for Life, others around the nation. What a day to press forward for breakthrough. But it, all that in many ways started 2004, where we called 50 days and 50 nights of intercession in Colorado Springs, where we are right now, 70 young people gathered to pray day and night. Out of that amazing season, God gave us a pro-life president and many things were birthed. For instance, Bound for Life was birthed. A movement praying for 100,000 LGBT to be saved and transformed by the power of God. That is rolling right now in, a move, in movements like Freedom March, where ex, uh, LGBTQ are actually going out and marching and praying and seeing people set free and delivered. It's awesome. A movement called Changed. We believe in some ways the seeds of those movements led by great leaders were actually fueled by the intercessions in 2004. A young man was caught up in a vision there during those 50 days and 50 nights to challenge the sex trafficking uh, of this nation. And right now, it, the movement's called Exodus Cry. It's extraordinary. And there is a worldwide push now to break the power of the porn hub industry. And I believe right now God is in a full on, full court press to break Jezebel's hold. When I say that, it's not a woman, it's a spirit that rules, producing all kinds of sexual immorality, the altars of Baal, shedding of innocent blood of our unborn. We believe we are in a day of Elijah. And we believe that President Trump is actually going to be a William Wilberforce. If the church sees what's going on, that he could be the William Wilberforce to end the slave trade of abortion in America like William, did, William Wilberforce did with the slavery trade in Great Britain. These are great days. We believe these elections are not a referendum on the character of Joseph Biden or the character of President Trump. I believe this is a ref referendum on the church on whether or not they will stand on the fixed moral biblical foundation, set laws from Bible. What will you do with the command thou shalt not kill in the issue of abortion? We are roaring with this message for these next 28 days, we're just coming to you with videos. And we are at this moment that starting on the 12th, again, about 70 young people are going to be coming, young and old, are coming to Washington, are coming to uh, Colorado Springs again. 21 days of continuous breakthrough prayer. We believe if we could shift the heavens, it could actually shift things in the, in, the, in the voting process and the elections. We are asking you once again, and I don't do this often, we need thousands of dollars to fuel this movement. We thank you that you've been generous. Many of you have uh, funded this, but we're in a, a point that I feel uh, personally that I've come to a moment of fulfillment of 20, 30 years of my own life. And I'm asking you, would you go and would you support with thousands of dollars rolling in with $10 and $100 to help us fuel this 21 days, these assignments that are in front of us, where we've come from for 2021, for a year that maybe we'll be rejoicing in the streets. Roe v. Wade is no more. The porn industry is being shaken in America. God has exposed the dark, deep, pornographic, and pedophilia schemes that are going on. We believe the Elijah revolution is stronger than the revolution of Jezebel. Read the scriptures at the end. Jezebel's altar becomes a latrine. We're in the days of great breakthrough. Would you help us? 
fund LEM, Lou Engle Ministries, and help us carry on this search to righteousness and what we believe is the greatest revival in America's history. If they could go together, God and abortion, send revival to America. The prayer we prayed for 16 years with Bound for Life, I believe we're in that time. Help us fulfill that dream and fulfill your dream as well. Thanks.